Welcome back to another Real Houses of the Bay Area kitchen renovation. Today I am going to give you a before and after tour of this original kitchen which was built in 1965. Currently living in the home is a family of four, a mom, dad, and two young girls. We did complete this project in a record six weeks and the project budget was under $50,000. Let's take a quick look at the before. As you can tell, this kitchen was very small and obviously very dated. There's fluorescent lighting in the ceiling. There is not a separate dining room in this home. And so the dining room and the kitchen shared one space. And because they had that dining table in there, it created a lot of um, challenges in terms of them wanting to keep it initially and what we ended up doing. Now, as you can tell, there's not a lot of counter space. Somebody had created a makeshift island at some point so that there would be more prep space. But because part of the island was counter height and then the other part of it was bar height, it didn't really maximize on counter space. Another challenge that we had was that the elevated area of the kitchen had this strange bump out that came out at an angle. And because it was at an angle and not straight across, it posed placement of furniture challenges, and it just didn't allow us to maximize the square footage above there. This opening to the entry area is something that I will show you what, how we address that later on. And unfortunately, the refrigerator had a leak at some point which caused water damage to the hardwood floor that was right outside of the kitchen. The flooring was buckled and the only way to address it was to replace that flooring and because the flooring continued into the rest of the house, that was not budget friendly to do. So we ended up extending the tile out to that area. Now you'll see that the family room is adjoining to the kitchen and uh, because it had popcorn ceilings in that area, we did remove that and you'll see how we made the two spaces very, very cohesive in the long run. So it's always very exciting when demo occurs and we were able to remove everything and even remove the bulkhead above the old cabinetry. So now we're able to actually install our cabinets all the way to the top of the ceiling. Everything is at the same height. We remove the fluorescent lighting and we will be installing recessed lighting. We are able to even out the platform. So rather than having that strange bump out at an angle, it's nice and even across the board, which gave us a little bit more floor space, and then we were able to add additional cabinetry. The popcorn ceiling was removed in the adjoining family room, and we chose the most beautiful color called Sophistication by Kelly Moore that we painted the family room and kitchen in. Here are the final kitchen plans. As you can tell from this photo, we actually moved the garage door to the far end of that wall, which allowed us to now extend cabinetry down a little bit further. It used to be where the refrigerator was, which actually cut the flow. One of the best decisions made was that the homeowners decided to remove their dining table set from the kitchen area. They initially wanted to keep it, but trying to incorporate it into the space made it challenging because it didn't allow us to maximize on the storage that a kitchen island would afford us. So by eliminating the dining table from the equation, we were able to install a five foot island in the center of the kitchen, which is the centerpiece and the hub. We were able to extend the countertop beyond the island to incorporate enough seating for the entire family. We were able to add additional storage with a full height pantry as well as that additional piece of storage on the far left corner. And we have not only doubled the storage but also the counter space. Oh, the hardy backers going in. It looks so much cleaner. And walls are painted. It actually makes the, the fireplace look pretty good. Like yeah. Initially, the plan was to repaint the brick on the fireplace, but after we repainted the walls, it looked so good that we didn't have to. The homeowners wanted to incorporate some decorative tile on the flooring, and so I suggested that we add a band on the edge of the step to define the step. We're initially only going to do the first step and then when we laid it out, it looked so good that we ended up doing it on the second step as well. It 
It's always exciting when we can start installing the cabinetry because we can start seeing the room come together. And no matter how much we plan, there's always going to be something that does not go according to plan, such as this switch plate being just a hair too close to the edge of the cabinetry. So that just needed to be adjusted down a little bit. But overall, everything was starting to look really, really good. The cabinets were measured for countertop fabrication and we installed the backsplash from the top of the countertop to the ceiling. And here's the end result. It took six weeks to go from dated, inefficient, lack of storage to this nice open space with lots of light and tons of storage and enough counter space to entertain. If you recall, this opening used to be a traditional doorway, which we removed. We cut the wall back so that it is closer to the new pantry, and we opened it up all the way up to the ceiling. So now as you enter into the kitchen, you have a nice open view of the new space. The homeowners are so excited about their new and improved kitchen and they have been known to entertain practically every weekend. We're so excited for them and we would love to help you if you're in the market for a new and improved kitchen or bathroom or an entire home. Please visit us at realhousesofthebayarea.com. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate it if you hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.